Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Queen of Diamonds. My name is Jenna. For those of you who have just found my channel, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing and sticking around. If you're returning, welcome back. So look what I have out. For those of you who have watched my channel before, you'll recognize this from one of the first videos that I posted on my channel. This I got in March from Jada Gem Shop. It was my first Jada Gem Shop order. And I had mentioned in that unboxing that this was for an event this summer called Summer with the Masters. So I'm gearing up for that event. That event goes from June 1st to July 31st, and it's where you work on Old Masters artwork through the summer. The event itself is hosted by two of my favorite YouTubers, Katie with Diamonds and Washi and Anthony from Single and Placing. So if you'd like more information about this event, um, visit their YouTube channels or their Facebook, Facebook page. They did an announcement video about a month ago um, giving all the details about the event. So feel free to visit them if you have any questions. I have three pieces that I will be entering into Summer with the Masters, but I think you can only officially enter one. If I'm understanding correctly, the initial entry form that you turn in just has the one piece of art. I'm not really sure because I've never entered the event before and they don't have the entry form available yet. They said that the entry form will be available on the day of the kickoff, so which would be June 1st. So that's just a couple days away and then I get to start working on this lovely piece. So this is Flaming June by Frederick Lord Layton and I got this from Jada Gem Shop. Now I want to mention one, a couple of really quick things about Jada Gem Shop. Um, you can customize your kit to just about however you'd like. She has some size options available with each diamond painting, and she also shows her recommended size. So with this particular diamond painting, I went 50 by 50. That's 50 centimeters by 50 centimeters. So if, you know, like I said, you can choose the size and she does have her recommendations there. You can also choose if you want round or square drills. So that is whether the diamonds on the actual canvas will be round or square. So I chose square with this kit because it has a lot of detail. So I really wanted to bring out the detail. Now, for those of you who are new to diamond painting, square diamonds, you get a little more detail. And with the round diamonds, you get more sparkle. That's the way I look at it. Maybe everybody else has their own opinion, but that's what I've come to understand about the difference between the two. So with the paintings that I see have a lot of detail, I usually try to choose square if that's an option. But if I'm just looking for um, sparkle or fun, I usually go with round. Some diamond painting shops don't give you an option whether to go with one or the other. So um, I like both. I just happen to enjoy both of them. So again, this will be my main entry, and this is just beautiful. I'm so excited to work on this. Another thing with Jada Gem Shop, I forgot to mention, sorry, is you can upgrade to some specialty drills if you choose to. So for, uh, for example, with this one, I chose to upgrade only to ABs, but I actually did my first Jada Gem Shop diamond painting kit in April. So if you'd like to see a review for that, it's in my April month in review. I did a Mermaid's Bath by Tosha San, and that was beautiful. I had a really good experience with that, so I'm really anxious to try another uh, Jada Gem Shop kit. That diamond painting, I upgraded with ABs and Glimmers, and I had a good experience with both of her specialty drills. I think she also has metallic and crystals available. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I'm, I'm fairly certain she does have crystal. I'm not sure about metallic. But um, very curious, or very excited to start Flaming June. So, this is my first and main entry for the event, and I'm gonna be starting on this June 1st. But I wanted to mention, so about a month before I got my channel up, my 15-year-old Sydney, who is very, very art artistic, um, wanted me to do this diamond painting by Gustav Klimt. Klimt. And this was completed in 1908, I wanna say. Is that right? I believe it's, yeah, 1908. And I'm really happy that she chose this one. It's not one that I would have selected, but now that I'm gearing up for it, I'm really excited to do it. But um, this I got from Crafties, and it was, like I said, before I had my channel, so I don't have an unboxing video of this particular diamond painting, but this will be really pretty. Now, this particular diamond painting only came with standard drills. It didn't have any specialty drills. So I think what I'll do, I'm toying with the idea of adding some gold crystals to it because I know that it had the original artwork had gold leaf 
um, put into it somehow. So I'm not really sure. It might just be better to stick with the standard drills though. I haven't decided. It's just a thought that I'm toying with. So again, this is the Kiss by Gustav Klimt. And I got this through Crafties. It's a 40 by 40 and it is a round drill kit. So I was, I was very happy to have one of each going on for Summer with the Masters. These two, Flaming June and the Kiss, I have kitted up and I'll show you the kit contents in just a moment. This diamond painting I just unboxed on my channel yesterday. It is by, obviously, Vincent Van Gogh. It is called Cafe Terrace, um, Cafe Terrace at Night. I keep forgetting the name of it, Cafe Terrace at Night. And it was done in 1888. So this is really, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this one. Um, I love this because there is a good combination of both color blocking and confetti. So I went into that when I unboxed it. I have not kitted up for this because I really did not expect to get this this quickly. It is a square drill, so I might wait until I'm done with Flaming June to start on this. I'm not really sure but that will be a fun one to do for sure. And this is another one that Sydney was really excited for me to do. She's also thinking she's going to call dibs on Flaming June. I think not. I think not, dear daughter. I think this will be my diamond painting. <laughs> um, but I'm sure it'll be in our house where she can admire it as well. So let me show you the kit contents for uh, Flaming June first. I'm using the kit that I got from Munimade. I really like this kit uh, method. Uh, really a lot. So Flaming June has 53 colors. So I've almost used up all of the bottles. It looks like there were 54. So I just have one empty bottle. Is that right? Yeah, I guess it just has 54. So in here, I've got all of my kit essentials. I've got a diamond painting pen and some putty and wax. And I've got my washi tape. This is just washi tape that I thought would show up on it very well. Um, yeah, so that is my I also have the Jada Gem Shop release paper that came with the kit. Uh, here is my cover minder that I have chosen for this kit. It is from Galloway's Gallery, and I thought it was fitting because it's an orange butterfly. And this has a lot of orange in it, and it's supposed to be um, something that the diamond painting itself was supposed to be a summertime painting, the original artwork. So let me put this to the side, and I'll show you my kit contents for the kiss. All right, the kiss is coming at us with 34 colors. And I do not have any of the specialty drills that I'm thinking of using in here yet, because again, it's just an um, idea that I'm just starting to float a little bit. So in here, we've got all of our colors. Now you'll notice that the there is green on the top of these lids, and that is because I didn't want to, Crafties doesn't come with pre-cut stickers to label your containers. So instead of taping them and then scrubbing the tape off when I'm done and I'm kidding down, I wanted to try washi tape and I'm hoping that that will peel up. Now other stickers that I get from other companies usually peel off quite easily and I don't have to scrub, but I was worried that tape would um, be harder to get off. So I tried washi tape and I'm hoping that that will uh, peel right off and the labels are taped with scotch tape onto the washi tape. So. This was kind of a doozy to kit up, but it's not a big deal. I need to get a label maker is what I need to get. So anyway, this is my kit for the kiss. Got all the colors ready to go. I had a lot of static in doing both of these. It was so weird. So in here, we've got my kit essentials for the kiss. And this shares a storage unit with um, another diamond painting that I'm working on. So I'll just have to remember that this is on top and the other ones are on the bottom. So I've got my washi, my putty, my wax, and my diamond painting pen. I also have the tray that I will be using with the kiss. It is from Yellow Dog Designs, isn't it pretty? It's um, cayenne blue, right? Yeah, cayenne blue. And I love their trays so much. Look how pretty they are. I did not unbox this one on my channel, but I think that's really pretty. So that is the tray that I'll be using with the kiss. And the cover minder is made by Jenna. <laughs> it's just one that I made from an old necklace that I never wear. So I just took the um, main part of the necklace off and made it into a cover minder. So this is the cover minder that I'll be using because I thought it went along with the vibe of the kit, kind of a vintage type cover minder look. And I think my magnets have fallen off somewhere. Oh, there they are. Okay, so there we go with that. And there we go. So those are my two first 
diamond paintings that I'm going to be using for uh, Summer with the Masters. And again, I'm so looking forward to this event. Just a couple of days is all I have to wait and I'll be starting these. So anyway, let me know if you have any questions or comments. If you have any thoughts about any of these shops or diamond paintings, I'd be happy to hear. Also, let me know if you are um, participating in Summer with the Masters. Please leave me a comment with what um, masterpiece you're going to be working. What old master masterpiece, I should say, you're going to be working for the event. I would love to hear that. So thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!